Hey guys, Mark Dickinson here with a two minute tutorial from Lena. And she's from the Rising Tide Society and posted on the forums today and asked how to remove this red shirt on here. Well, we also know there's a little bit of a blue distraction on here. So we're going to do both of them and hopefully send it back to her so she can see how this photo is edited. There's going to be two different ways. I'm going to try one, which is with the lasso tool up here on the left hand side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a majority of the information around him or the the silhouette of this kid here in the orange or red shirt whatever you described as and then when I get down here to the rock I'm gonna be a little bit more careful and get as close as I can once I get over here I'm gonna let go it's gonna snap there okay so I only know it is the shortcut of shift F5 but we're gonna find out in the menu where it is if you go over here to menu and then you go to fill which is shift F5 you see the uh, bring it over. You do see the options here that you can do foreground color, background color, content aware, pattern history, and all these below. So what we're going to do is make sure it's set on content aware. Uh, color adaptation is on. Blending is going to be 100%. Mode is normal. And then we're going to hit OK. What that's going to do is hopefully see around the area what it needs to blend that with. And it actually looks like it took some of that and brought it down here, which is fine. Now, if you want to clean it up a little bit more, then you're going to come over to your stamp tool your clone stamp tool, I should say, and we're going to remove this selection and come to that clone stamp tool. So now when I remove this out, there's now some black distraction here. And what we're going to do is we're going to use the existing rock to remove that. So I press Alt on the keyboard and I click to find a source. Then I move over just a little bit and look at the edge of the source sample and click there. And then what we're going to do is we're going to paint around this with this grass. Come over here, I'm going to find this line that's a nice shadow that's leading in there. Do the same thing. Make sure that matches up. Come above. Come back over here. And blend that right in. So now the rock's still there. The rock has a little bit of a shadow on it. You can make this stuff match a little bit more if you want to. And even come in here and make it kind of uniform like that. So we're going to do that. Right here looks fine. But what I'll do is I'll just move this over and blend this part in as well. And that's with the Alt button again clicking that alt button to find my source and then painting right over it. So that looks fine to me when I zoom out, you can't see it as much. And then the next step we're gonna do is get rid of this little guy over here. And what we're gonna do with that, I'm gonna just simply select around it. I don't even need to use a lasso tool. We're gonna to use the uh, marquee tool, I think it's called here, the rectangular marquee tool. So we're gonna select that, press shift F5 on the keyboard and hopefully the magic will happen. There it is, it's gone. Uh, doesn't look like any distractions back there now. Got that gone. And even these little black distractions in this corner right here, select them the rip marquee tool, shift F5, gone, and this one here. Now, if you want any element out of this um, image in here, you can do that with any of these. But sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You got to just make sure that you try uh, each location that you are doing it with. And we'll even try and get her out of here. So some of the pixels are selected. Let's try it again. And it deleted the whole image there for some reason. I think I might have deselected or, or selected inverse. Let me try it again. Ah, uh, yes. And you see what happened there is when I do Shift F5, it's on foreground color instead of content aware. For some reason, it switched. Just make sure it's always on content aware. And if you want to, you can see it working and moving there. And get her essentially out of there if you want to. Now clean up this area. So that's how content aware fill work. So let's go ahead and uh, save this image and close it out. And I'm going to send this video over to Elena here and hopefully she can learn how to edit this and remove distractions from her images. So guys, thanks for watching. If you don't mind, like and subscribe and leave me a little note down in the comments below so that I can find out what you'd like to see next time. Thanks again. This is Mark Dickinson.